Why do children reverse letters? As I see more and more parenting material online on social media, this is one I see quite often on influencer handles. Does your child confuse B and D, P and Q? If yes, here is what you can do to help your child. And the social media post or the article will go on to tell you, you know, five ways in which you can help. You know, you can make a page with B and D both written on it many times and ask the child to circle Bs. The article blog or post will generally also tell you that doing so is critical. It is important we help the child and it'll end with nice inspirational messages like focus on doing this daily to help your child. You can do it. All of this essentially pointing the parent towards two thoughts. The first one is that there is something wrong with the child. The second is that you as a parent need to help. And without your help, this could have disastrous consequences. You might, you know, your child might never learn to read or keep writing BSD their entire life. But is this true? Is there something really wrong with the child? You are a curious parent. Let's find this out in the next five minutes. And to do this, let's go back in time. You know, long, long before, before we were born. Our parents are born even before Christ was born. Let's go back to the land of Sumer, near the Persian Gulf, 5400 years ago, where the earliest known writing was invented. Before that time, there was no record of any written script. In a world where you read and write every day, it is hard to imagine a world without words. But that's the way it was. The earliest known human being lived about 2 million years ago. Our brains, our brains have been developing to what they are over these last 2 million years. 5400 years might seem like a long time to you and me, but in reality, it is not enough time for the brain to incorporate the recent reading and writing that humans have begun to do. Imagine this, okay? Imagine this that thousands of years ago, a child roaming in the jungle and it suddenly sees a wolf. He's scared and he hides. Now it is important that the wolf keeps looking like a wolf from every angle to the child. That if the wolf, you know, goes towards the left, the child's brain shouldn't suddenly tell the child that now what he's seeing is a cow, not a wolf. After all, you know, a cup is a cup. If you turn it upside down, it still remains a cup. A book is a book. If you flip it in your child's eyes, a D should still be a D, whether it faces forward, backward, up or down. An object keeps its identity regardless of orientation isn't true of the written word. When we flip letters and words around, they lose their meaning. The D when flipped becomes a B and on becomes a no. As a result, when children learn to read words, the same neurological processes that kept them safe from the wolf can cause confusion when they learn to read and write. To a child who does not like to eat broccoli, try reversing the broccoli, hoping that the child will now see a different food item. You know it doesn't work. A broccoli remains a broccoli no matter how it is oriented. But this is not how letters and words work. And that is why, that is why children make the mistake and reverse B and D, P and Q, on and no. Research proves that children at this age do not have spatial consistency. In other words, they don't understand if you change a letter's direction, it can become an entirely different letter or not a letter at all. But who can blame them? This happens because in our brain, there is no area dedicated to reading and writing. What? That is true. There is no area dedicated to reading and writing. But you might say, if this is true, then how do we read and write? How do older children say more than eight years or adults read and write correctly? This brings us to the most interesting and scientific part of the puzzle. Because identifying objects was always important for human beings. So there is a full area in the brain dedicated to object identification. You know, cups, scissors, any object that you see, and this has been made over millions of years of evolution. Because of the demand of the modern education, our reading and writing, the brain uses the part of the brain used for object recognition and modifies it to read letters. Think about that. We do not have anything to read and write. We have something for identifying objects and our brain starts to modify it and creates an area which scientists call the visual word form area. It starts to develop. When we learn to read, we start developing this visual word form area, VWFA in our brains. Brain in some way recycles the object orientation system we have and uses it for reading and writing. And that is why adults or children after the age of eight don't reverse letters. Not because parents and teachers have pressurized them or asked them to throw balls in buckets or you know made them do B and D circling but because the brain is formed now and the child self-corrects himself without any help.
So as a parent, when you see a reverse B or D, you can let it be. Understand that there is nothing wrong with the child. It will self-correct. And in that self-correction, the child will gain self-confidence. The only thing to keep in mind is maybe you can let the school know too so that shaming does not happen, therefore confusing B and D. While children's brains are still developing, as adults, our brain is fully formed. The question to ask ourselves is, what can we develop so that we can see our child with neutral eyes and allow them to be? You're a curious parent and thank you for spending this time with me.